is National Suicide Prevention Month. And this topic is very near and dear to my heart because I lost my brother to suicide in 1996. Keith was struggling for years after the death of our dad when we were younger. And he found comfort in drugs and alcohol. He did reach out to a psychiatrist and get help with antidepressants, but the doctor didn't know that he was also on steroids and drinking alcohol and other drugs. He was, he was doing other drugs. And so he created this chemical imbalance in his body and we never knew about it. He didn't share this darkness that he was feeling. So the last day I saw my brother was on August 3rd, 1996. We had a great day. My mom and I spent the day with him, lots of laughs, joking around. Couldn't have been a better day. We were gonna see him the next day and go to the lake together. But that next morning, I received a call from his wife that said that he had tried to kill himself. And we rushed to the hospital, my mom and I, and um, got there and found out that he didn't make it. What my mom and I didn't know was that he threatened to kill himself several times before. Nobody ever told us. He dealt with this substance abuse, this anger that was in him that he couldn't, he couldn't control it anymore. He was so overwhelmed with guilt and shame from losing our dad that he was, he was lost. Alcoholism and anger issues run rampant in our family. My brother had lost control of his anger. He was in this dark place and no one knew. In his suicide letter, he wrote us that we'd be better off without him, that he was leaving the world a better place with him being gone, which is a lie. The pain that people cause the survivors is overwhelming, devastating. We never recover. People never recover from losing someone they love to suicide. My mother was devastated from the loss of her son. I remember her collapsing on the waiting room floor in the hospital when she found out that he didn't make it. That's not something that anyone can recover from. For 20 years after that, she dealt with depression and anxiety because she was devastated. My mom was never the same. Survivors of suicide, the people that they leave behind, are never the same. Please seek help if you are having these suicidal thoughts. If you feel like you're in a dark place and you need help, there are so many people that want to listen. So many people that want to help you. There's a hotline number you can call now. It's 988 or you can call 911. There is help available. Please. You are loved. You are cherished and you were meant to be here for a reason. Thank you and God bless.